Hello everyone. Welcome to Clark's Veterans Day celebration for 2021. Unfortunately, we cannot meet in person today. However, we would still like to take the opportunity to honor America's veterans for their service to our country. Please enjoy today's presentation put together by Clark Band Director, Mr. Walton, and Clark Choir Director, Mrs. Arroyo. Enjoy the presentation, everyone. is the newest of all five branches of the United States military. Although air combat was a crucial element of both the First and Second World Wars, the Air Force did not become its own separate service until September 18, 1947. It was officially founded after President Harry S. Truman signed the National Security Act of 1947. The Air Force became the world's premier aerospace force. Its mission, simply put, is to defend the nation through the control and exploitation of the air and space. Although obviously tasked with flying missions, most personnel work on the ground with various construction, support, and technical capacities. two battalions of Marines be created to serve during the Revolutionary War. They further resolved that this force be acquainted with maritime operations in order to serve aboard naval vessels. Thus, the United States Marine Corps has always been an expeditionary naval force ready to defend the nation's interests overseas. Colonel Daniel F. Bolger once said, In the Marines, everyone, sergeant, mechanic, cannoneer, supplyman, clerk, aviator, cook, is a rifleman first. All speak the language of the rifle and bayonet of muddy boots and long hot marches. It's never us and them, only us. That is the secret of the course. Navy was disbanded. 
Under the second president, John Adams, American merchant shipping came under threat while in the Mediterranean by Barbary pirates. This led to the Naval Act of 1794, which created a permanent standing U.S. Navy. Today, our Navy maintains, trains, and equips combat-ready naval forces capable of winning wars, deterring aggression, and maintaining the freedom of the seas. U.S. Navy personnel expertly operate virtually every type of military equipment in the country's arsenal, everything from Humvees to aircrafts. Dissatisfied with the standard bugle call employed by the army to indicate troops it was time to go to sleep, and Butterfield reworked an existing bugle call used to signal the end of the day. Not long after Butterfield created taps, it was played for the first time at a military funeral for a commanding officer for Union Cannoneer killed in action. The man's commanding officer, Captain John Tidball, decided the bugle call would be safer than the traditional firing of three rifle. Rightful volleys over the soldier's grave. 
a move which couldn't have been confused by the nearby enemies as an attack. Since 1981, taps has been a formal part of all military funerals. Thank <laughs> you.